Well, my oh my, in the world of AI, there's a little bit of drama. Let's talk about it. My name is Jay Stone, your AI ally. And OpenAI is stepped into a little bit of hot water. So last week, they released the new 4.0 chat GPT bot. So we were already using 4. I'm not sure why they named this one 4.0. It's a little bit weird, but that's what they're working with. And they were really excited about the voice bots and they demoed a few of them. So there are five total voice bots, but the one that they, they demoed was Sky. And so people started to talk about how Sky sounds a lot like Scarlett Johansson from the movie Her. Now, the movie Her, featuring, uh, starring Joaquin Phoenix, uh, featured an AI bot kind of girlfriend. And the voice was Scarlett Johansson. And that's what this voice sounds like. So people didn't like that it sounded a lot like Scarlett Johansson, but they also didn't like that it sounded like really flirty. I think that was a little bit too human for some people. And so people didn't particularly uh, like or appreciate that voice. So last week, I think Friday, OpenAI released uh, a long blog post about how the AIs were chosen and there were 400 submissions and they had casting agents and how the actors uh, get compensation for the initial voice and then they'll get ongoing royalties. So it's this really long, robust blog post that they put out about it. So fast forward to today. Um, and Scarlett Johansson has come out and Scarlett is saying, I'm a little bit shocked and angry because OpenAI and Sam reached out to me back in September of 2023 and asked me to be the new voice of the chat GPT 4.0 and I declined. Okay. So she retained a uh, legal counsel to inquire about how the voices were trained because she feels that her voice was stolen, okay? She said, when I heard the released demo, I was shocked, angered, and in disbelief that Ms. Alt Alt Mr. Altman would pursue a voice so eerily similar to mine, so eerily similar that my closest friends and news outlets could not tell the difference. OK, this is that fear that people were having around AI, uh, the cloning, the deep fakes, those kinds of things. Now, Sam came out and said, hey, we didn't use your voice to train. We also uh, didn't intend for it to sound like Scarlett Johansson. Right. But it does. And so I call bullshit on Sam. Right. I call bullshit on Sam because definitely I'm going to think that he, they knew that it sounded like Scarlett Johansson. Um, and if you intended, if you like Scar Scarlett Johansson's the hoarseness and timbre of her voice, you would definitely be attracted to something looking like that. And you didn't think that you would get caught now. And this is the treachery in AI these days. This is the stuff that we're all afraid of. Um and then the fact that you made her sound so flirty, which is definitely, you know, this is one of those biases that she needed to sound soft and sultry and flirty. So uh, they have at this time stopped using Sky as one of the voices. But I think we're going to hear more from this because I don't think Charlotte is going to let this rest. Right. She's going to get all the people, all the people involved. And I think OpenAI is going to have to do some more answering to this. I don't think a few press releases are going to put an end to this because, you know, Hollywood be serious about making their money. Anyway, what do you think? Did you hear the voice? What do you think of the voice? Love to hear your feedback. Um, and we'll catch you soon on the flip side.